Let's get it. 2020. Yeah, yeah. That's how I amp up for a video. Going through changes. Mad right now, I can't even think straight. Kia ora team, welcome back to another video. I'm Daniel, and I hope that you fellas are having a good day, dressing well, and of course, getting stuff done. We are in a brand new decade. We are in 2020. I hope that you all had an amazing Christmas, an amazing new year, and I hope that you guys are ready for 2020. I would like you guys in the comment section down below, leave me some of your, what your goals are this year. Hmm, it has been a while in front of this camera. Oh, it actually feels really good to be back in London filming uh, for you guys. I'm so stoked for this year and I hope you guys are looking forward to where this channel is going to go because trust me, there is a lot of exciting things coming up. And yeah, this whole like, I'm looking in the mirror, like blonde hair, man, I don't know how long I'm going to keep it up. I like it, but it takes a lot to maintain. As you can tell, it's already starting to go down the more uh, yellow uh, route. So I need to, you roughly need to get it re-dyed every month. Um, so yeah, that's gonna cost a bit. So I don't know. I'd like to maintain it this whole year, but I don't know. Anyway, into today's video. For the first video of the year, I thought it would be cool to go through my entire shoe collection of 2020. The reason why I think this is quite cool, one, we actually haven't done this in a while. So a lot of the sneakers that you would have seen in my last sneaker collection, I almost don't own any of them anymore now. I've only got literally 12 uh, shoes to showcase you uh, today. And I still know that is a lot and you don't need that many shoes, but again, my job, blah, blah, blah. I thought it'd be cool to see what shoes I have in my collection at the start of the year, and then to revisit it at the end of the year and see what shoes I still have, or to see what shoes that I did cop and see how my shoe rotation changes. I've really cut down my shoe collection to the shoes that I actually wear on a more, at least a weekly to every second. I just wanted the shoes that I wear the most. I've cut my shoes down to the shoes that I wear the most. Let's get into it because this is rambling. So coming into the first shoe in my collection, I get a lot of questions about my gym shoes and these are the ones that I do uh, personally use all the time. These are the Nike React Flyknits. I really like them. I've had them for about, I want to say maybe three months now. These are the shoes that I do use for like running. Uh, most of the time it is on the treadmill, so they're pretty good for that. The sole is very cushioned. It's a, it's kind of like Nike's version of the Ultra Boost. They're quite affordable. Um, I got them for about 90 pounds when they were on sale and I rate them just all black with a little bit of the gray accent. Uh, but this gym shoe, let's move on. So my second shoe in my collection is the Nike P6000. You guys saw me wear these heaps in uh, 2019. They're definitely one of my favorites. And again, the thing with this colorway, is it actually is the woman's shoe. Since then, Nike has released a lot of different colorways in the Nike P6000. Overall, I do really rate the shoe. I haven't been wearing it too much lately because I'm actually getting over sneakers. I don't tend to go towards sneakers now when I am putting together outfits. I still really rate the shoe, but I am wearing it less and less. It's definitely that kind of like, if I need to quickly nip out or if you know I'm wanting a super cozy outfit. For example, flying to New Zealand, stuff like that. These are definitely the shoes to have on foot, you know, when you're flying. Now, number three, guys, I'm pretty sure this is a staple in almost everybody's wardrobe is a Nike Air Force One in white. <laughs> I just keep thinking of those memes, you know, when they're like, you know, never trust, never trust someone with black Nike Air Force Ones. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I got the Nike Air Force Ones, the lows, got these way back. I even got these actually off Depop because I was just like, I wanted a pair that was kind of already kind of like broken in and had a little bit of discoloring. I personally do not like fresh Nike Air Force Ones. I don't like them. I like them when they are beaten in. So fourth up, we come into a bit more of the high end uh, shoe, still a sneaker. These are the Balenciaga Track V2s in the white colorway. Now, I do really like these. I do really like these, but I honestly am not wearing them as much as I thought I was going to. I did it first. At first, especially when I went to New York, I was wearing them all the time. And then since then, I don't know what it, I know what it is. And you'll see with the second shoe, what it is. Um, but I've kind of gotten over them. They're in my collection, but I don't think these are going to get to the end of the year at all. I think I will sell them at some now, point. Now. Fifth up on the list is the Prada Cloudbusters. And these are the reason why 
I'm not really wearing those Balenciagas as much because I absolutely love these shoes. These are definitely one of my favorite pairs of shoes and I wear them so much, multiple times a week. I just think they're completely wicked. They're a lot slimmer. Like in my opinion, they are a lot slimmer. Like even when you look down at them, yeah, they're still chunky and stuff, but they are quite low key when you do wear them on foot. Really comfortable, super surprised with how comfortable they are. And I love the whole all black colorway with that little bit of red detail at the back. I know I'm gonna be having these for a long time still and I'm gonna just wear the hell out of them in 2020. But yeah, definitely one of my favorite sneakers right now. And that's literally my sneakers done. So gym pair of shoes don't really count. So I only technically have four pairs of sneakers. Now, if you look back at any of my other uh, sneaker collection videos, you would have seen that pretty much all of them were sneakers, which is why I even titled it that way. But like I said, I'm really getting over sneakers. So I'm really just keeping it, you know, quite like four. Four sneakers, pretty much where I'll stay. So now we're going on a little bit more of the dressier shoes. So next up, we have the Doc Martin Archie 2s. Really sick, you guys saw that I picked these up towards the end of 2019. I wanted a pair of Doc Martens that didn't kind of have that whole like Doc Martin effect, you know, with the yellow stitching. And yeah, I really mess with these. I've been wearing them quite a lot. Comfort wise, I'd probably say six, six, maybe yeah, six out of 10. I do believe the Doc Martin 1461s are more comfortable once you break them in, uh, but I do still, still really rate these. And I wear these when I'm wanting, a, you know, a bit more of a dressier outfit, which means next up we have the Doc Martin 1461s. I've had these for the longest time now. You guys see them almost in every video, it's in at least one outfit. Um, I really do rate the shoe. These are my first ever pair of Doc Martens. And honestly, the amount of, that I've actually worn them, they've, the condition of them is still just great. Like I, I'm super happy with them. I get a lot of questions like, what do I do to take care of my shoes? And I literally don't do anything. I think what helps is I don't wear my shoes really back to back. So like if I wore these every single day for a month, then probably, yeah, they would be in a lot more, a lot worse condition. But because I cycle through my shoes, um, the lifespan of them can go on and they don't look as beaten, but absolutely rate these shoes. Now what they do tell you to do, because I get a lot of questions about this one as well, is to size down. So try them on a store if you can first, but if you're ordering them online, at least go half a size down to a full size. So next up, we come onto these chunky, Gucci loafers. Now, I love these shoes. Love the look of them. They are so beautiful and they're also so unbelievably uncomfortable. I wore these on New Year's and yeah, the next day my feet, even my shins were sore. Um, they just they just weren't that, yeah, they're just, they're, they're just not that comfortable. I've seen some other people talk about them as well. Um, so I don't even think after like a big, like even when you push, Jesus, it's just solid. Like you might have to really, really break these in to make them comfortable, but it doesn't matter because I still love the look of them. So I'm never going to get rid of these. Um, I, I absolutely love them. A little bit of a different shoe because they are chunky, but still smart enough to wear to a nice formal event, uh, especially if you do want to have you know, a little bit of a statement piece. Now we come into the final portion of the video. Like I said, I've really cut down my entire shoe collection. So I've got four shoes left. We're coming into the boots. First up, we have the Doc Martin 1460s, the stock standard black boots. Now, if you guys remember, I picked these up from Depop for 35 pounds when we did the Depop challenge way back. Also, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see like another Depop challenge video. When I did get them, they were actually in really good condition. Uh, they are still in, I mean, they're dirty right now. They're muddy because these are like my beaters for boots. Like these are my kind of like everyday boots. The ones that like, if I need to like hike up to do some photos or these are the ones I just don't care how grubby or dirty or anything they get. Um, you know, waves crashing into them, there's sand on them, there's mud being everywhere, but I, they still have held together so well. Like, is all I need to do is give them like a little bit of a wipe down and then they'll be golden. So I do definitely really rate uh, the Doc Martin 1460 boots. They're comfortable, I've broken them in. I do know when you first get them, like they are very stiff. I was with my mate when he went to go pick up a pair of these exact same ones and the difference in them is just crazy how stiff they are when you first get them compared to these now, they're just, you know, they're just so broken in. Uh, the leather has definitely softened as well. So if you guys are picking up a pair, just know you do have to break them in, you know, <laughs> go kick some walls. Like they look better when they are broken in and have a little bit of like character to them. But yeah, still really rate these shoes. Then we come on to a newer pair of shoes. You would have seen these 
feature on uh, one of my weekly vlogs. These are the Chelsea boots from Arkit. Now, I was actually lucky enough to be gifted these from them. Definitely is like a little bit of a different standout shoe. I love the colorway of them, that khaki colorway, and then it's obviously got the kind of chunky sole. Now, chunky boots in general, I do believe it's just gonna be a massive trend of 2020. Joel kind of spoke about this in one of his videos, and I completely agree with him where sneakers will stay there, you know, like, you know, you got your Balenciagas, you got all that, but it's definitely gonna come into boots a bit more, and it's awesome to see that Arkit is kind of like doing their own thing as well. All right, guys, the second to last pair are these Balenciaga boots. I've had these ones for a while now. You guys know I picked these up on sale, and I still absolutely love these shoes. Now, I probably could have gone down half a size. I went true to size, uh, which was a US 10 in these, but probably I should have gone down at least half a size. They still fit fine. There's a little bit of wiggle room, so I just wear thicker socks when I wear them. You guys have heard me talk about these before. Love just the kind of like the subtle detail of Balenciaga on the side. Unless you're looking right there, you wouldn't know, and that is what I like about them. I love the leather quality, nice and soft. I've broken them in. And yeah, these are definitely a nice pair of like dressier uh, shoes that are like, like I love wearing these with wide pants where they just sit on them. And yeah, I just think they're sick. You're, these aren't ever gonna leave my collection, I don't think so. Really still break these shoes. Now last but certainly not least was my last pickup of uh, 2019. You guys have seen these in my stories and a few outfits. It is the Prada military boots with that chunky sole. I love these. These are my favorite pair of boots right now actually though i've been wearing them so much i didn't think i would wear them as much as i have been because i you know part of me thought you know oh don't want to nah. but nah i've been wearing them so much um comfortable once you break them in breaking them in was a bit nah. the only thing that just sucks with them is just the lacing system but i mean that's just like your standard with military boots it's like once i put these on that's it like i'm not taking them off so if i'm ever going like shopping or something definitely I would wear these because it means I'm not going to try anything else on because uh, the thought of undoing them isn't worth it at all. They're going to be in the collection probably again forever. Um, I really do want to hold on to these. These are the ones that I would like to just get so... I would I would want these to kind of turn into how my Doc Martens are. You know, the ones that I just wear all the time, built in character, last me for years and years. That's kind of what I would like out of these. And there we have it, guys. That is my entire shoe collection of 2020 all the shoes that I'm starting with this year. Like I said, I will do at the end of this year um, an update on this whole collection and to see what is still here and what is new. So guys, first video of 2020, let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. But other than that, I honestly wish you guys an amazing, an amazing year. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just gassed uh, for what's to come. And also, thank you guys so much for uh, all the feedback and the support that you guys showed in my how I got into fashion video it was really overwhelming like the amount of likes that that video's got uh, compared to views is just wicked and the comments I've seen all of them uh, I do obviously try and reply but it, it honestly means the world because uh, that was probably one of my first videos of opening up a little bit more and I do want to do more of that and it was wicked to see that you guys wanted me to do more videos uh, like that so yeah, there's definitely more kind of like story time videos that I want to do. Like I want to do stuff like, for example, like sometimes when it's not fully, fully uh, fashion related. So it could be like, you know, like story time, uh, why I started meditating or st st you know, story time, um, my first breakup or things like that as well. But obviously, I'm still going to keep it fashion based and everything like that, but I feel um I don't know, I feel it's good. So let me know what you guys think of kind of like story times. Like we could do like a story time like once a month or something uh, where it's like this extra kind of video. Um, it's just, yeah, let me know, let me know guys. But yeah, other than that, thank you so much. Keep dressing well and I'll see you fellas next time. Peace. Going through changes. I'm just so mad right now. I can't even think straight. So I'm a judge.